If you're an Amazon seller that wants to run rebate campaigns with Minichat using a messenger bot, then you're gonna wanna keep watching this video because I'm about to show you a very extensive messenger bot flow that I got for free from seller.tools going over an awesome rebate campaign that automates the order verification process as well as automates the actual payment, the rebate payment process. So keep watching this video. So before we jump into it, I just wanna quickly tell you who I am. My name is Ian Smith with EvolveMedia.agency. We're an Amazon marketing agency and we work with a lot of Amazon sellers to help them run these messenger bot campaigns, run Facebook ads, and overall help them scale their Amazon business. So if you're interested in booking a call with me, then head over to EvolveMedia.agency and then go ahead and book a free strategy call with me. So now let's go ahead and jump into this free messenger bot flow that I downloaded from seller tools as a template and I want to really show you how powerful this thing is because it is awesome okay so if you can see my screen right now basically you can see the flow and if I zoom all the way out you'll see how extensive this is it just keeps on going and going and going it is it's huge but don't worry don't get overwhelmed because I'm gonna break it down for you and really you don't have to really change much to this I'll show you where you will need to make all your changes um, so before we jump into this exact flow I just want to let you know that you will need in order to be able to automate those orders the customer orders and also be able to automate the payment process of it you will need the $97 per month seller tools plan because the $97 per month plan gives you access to the API. Now that's gonna be able to pull your Amazon, you know, pull orders information through your Amazon into seller tools and also connect your mini chat with your seller tools account as well. So 97 bucks, but totally worth it because this messenger bot flow is free and it's going to really help you with ranking products, getting reviews and overall increasing your order volume with your Amazon business. So starting from the very beginning with this flow, as you can first see, comes with a lot of these little tips and little information insights as to how you need to uh, know how this works, what's happening at that current step, and then what changes you may want to make. So one thing to also know about this is that there's a lot of like verifications and double checks to make sure that you are not getting abused, your rebate flow is not being abused, and people are not trying to take advantage of your of your overall rebate program so the first message in basically the first thing that happens is it makes sure that it's not a blacklisted user a blacklisted user is somebody that has abused it in the past and they no longer can participate in this and then it also makes sure that this person has not uh, well, well we'll talk about the other the other verifications that it does going on okay so the first message says Thanks for your interest in our product. We'll email you a gift card for 100% rebate to thank you for trying it out, ready to the, for the next steps. They click on yes, I'm ready. And just to get them into this actual first message, you can do things like Facebook ads, Instagram ads, social media posts, linking to existing lists like an email. So there's a lot of different ways to actually get them here. I'd say the most popular one is Facebook ads. Um, okay, so what that says is yes, I'm ready. Then it does a quick API pull to make sure uh, to actually set the custom value. I won't go over too much of the technical stuff. I'll, I'll save you on that one. Um, it first checks your max daily giveaways. So you can actually set a number, like if you wanted 10 of these to happen daily, you can set that max limit in this area over here in the settings. So I'll go ahead and jump into the settings area. So this is the main place that you really wanna be making your edits to. So you can go to settings, then custom fields, scroll all the way down to this bot fields area. Now this is gonna be where you're putting in your API, your seller tools API key, setting your max daily giveaways right here, setting the ASIN because a really cool thing about this is that you can actually put in your ASIN so that when it does its order verification, it's also looking at that order to make sure they actually purchased the correct ASIN that you're actually doing the rebate campaign for. Um, you can put in your wallet balance minimum. So when I mentioned, you know, being able to automatically send them the payment for the rebate, you're doing that with your seller tools wallet. Now what this is, is basically you can add funds to your seller tools wallet and then that's the money that's gonna be deducted when a rebate is being paid out. So you, this is just a notification, you know, if, if the balance goes below 50 bucks, then you will get a message and an email telling you, hey, put some more money in the balance because it's going low. 
So you can also put in your product name. This is pulling, you know, this bot field is being pulled into certain messages in the flow so that it looks more dynamic and people can actually see, you know, information in a message in case you're running multiple rebates and things like this. So this is a very important area to know about this whole rebate messenger bot template. So continuing on, um, a lot of these messages down here on the bottom is kind of like, if no, then they'll get this answer. So if they say, uh, let's see, if they say no, okay, no biggie, we hope to hear from you soon. If this um, daily counter is negative, then it says, looks like we've given out all the deals for today, don't worry, check back tomorrow, things like that. So that's if your max counter has been reached. And then the next message in the flow is gonna, uh, well, the next, I guess, action in the flow is gonna see if they've been tagged with this special tag to see if they've already taken advantage of this rebate. If they have taken advantage of this same rebate, then they're gonna get this message right here that says, sorry, looks like you've already gotten this rebate. If they have not and everything is good to go, then they'll receive this. It's kind of like a terms message saying a few quick things. We're gonna send you an email address. Please don't cancel your order. You can only redeem this, you know, terms and conditions, things like that. By continuing with, with this offer, you're agreeing to those terms. So it hits them with the terms and then it's gonna say, okay, what is your email address that we're gonna send your gift card rebate to? Uh, gives them a nice little image showing them the different rebate options. They can have an Amazon gift card, Visa, looks like Target, Starbucks, things like that. Then it says, okay, great, first name, pulls in their first name, so that's really cool. We'll send you your link and your rebate email is this, so it's kind of uh, confirming, is this the correct email that you provided? So that's really good because if they had a typo in their first email, then they have that chance to double check it there. So if they say yes, they'll continue on. If they say no, then they'll have the chance to update that email, and that's pretty cool. Uh, so when they continue on, it does another little check to make sure that they are not on the blacklist. You know, again, blacklist is for the abusers, and you don't want to, uh, be working with those guys so it will kick them out and not let them proceed in the actual rebate flow. Next, then it will say, you're approved to purchase. Go ahead and click the button below to buy now. Now, this buy now link is where you're gonna wanna put your special keyword link and then, you know, however you wanna, you wanna use Pixelfy, you wanna use Seller Tools, there's a lot of different link generators out there. I would definitely recommend using a link generator that is going to be a deep link. So it's gonna open the Amazon app if they happen to be clicking on their mobile device because chances are if they're in Messenger, they're gonna be on their mobile device. So they're gonna click buy now. They're gonna go ahead and uh, here's, here's the actual tip right here. Add your keyword using a field ASIN optimized URL to your flow. Um, you can go to seller.tools slash Jenny, which is their area, Seller Tools area, where they can they have all their like generators where you can generate a bunch of different links and things like that. So they're gonna go buy, and then you have a delay. Now you can obviously change the amount of time that passes until the next message is sent to them. You can do one minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, however much time you wanna give them to go ahead and proceed with purchasing on Amazon. Then it's gonna send them this follow-up message saying, ready to grab your 100% rebate as a thank you for your purchase. Reminder, we will email you a direct link to choose from 100 plus gift card options. So that is really cool. They're gonna click on yes or no. Um, if they click on no, then it says no worries. Hope you're loving your product, we'll see you around. If they say yes, then it's gonna to go to the actual order verification process. So it says, great, let me verify your purchase. What is your Amazon order ID? It's a seven digit number. They're gonna go ahead and type in their Amazon order ID. And then this next step is gonna be sending it through the API over to Amazon to verify, you know, pulling some information back and forth, making sure that the order ID is accurate. It's gonna do another blacklist uh, check. Here's what Seller Tools note says about this. This part of the flow will check the, the customer's Amazon hashed email Pulled, so that's the actual Amazon email, that, that code looking one, pulled from the user submitted order ID against your seller tools blacklist and will remove them from your rebate automation if they're a known abuser. So that's really cool to see. Next, it's going to kick them out if they are on the blacklist and if they are not and everything is good, then it's gonna check the order status because obviously you don't wanna process the rebate if their order status is still pending, so you wanna wait till it's actually shipped. 
So then they're gonna receive a message that is gonna say, you know, okay, great, you're all set. We'll let you know when your order status is shipped and you can continue on with the next steps. Another really cool little double check that I mentioned earlier is the ASIN double check. So in this settings area in the bot fields, you're gonna put in the actual ASIN that um, you want to be specific to this rebate automation. So here is where it actually checks, is it ASIN number two, three, four? So there's four ASINs in the order. Typically if somebody is purchasing more than four products in their order, uh, it may not work because you know if it's the fifth product, but it's gonna check the four products that are in the order and make sure that the ASIN is accurate with the ASIN that you determined is the one that you, you know, uh, will process the rebate for. So when that is all good and ASINs are all good, the next step is gonna be awesome. As soon as your order has shipped, we will send you your link to choose your gift card. And then over the following time period, you know, a day or two, however long Amazon takes to process that order, Seller Tools is gonna be going through the API with Amazon, checking order, checking order. And then once the order status has been shipped, then they will receive this message over here that says, your order has shipped, can we go ahead and grab your gift card? So they're gonna say yes, obviously right there. It's going to check the wallet balance to make sure that there's enough money in there to go ahead and process it. If there's not enough money, it's gonna say, oops, we ran into a blip getting your gift card. And this is when it's gonna go ahead and ping the seller tools account holder and say, hey, uh, you need to get some money in here, hurry up. <laughs> so um, so once the money is good, then they can go ahead and process the actual rebate and the customer will receive this email, this message right here saying, okay, we've emailed your gift card to this email, You know, pulling in that email that they provided. If you haven't received it within a few minutes, feel free to reach out to our customer support team by, re by clicking below. So they can reach out to support, and then uh, the next step is going to be, it's gonna say uh, review request waiting period. So see how that's a smart like bot field right there. So again, back in the settings is where you will actually define how long you want this waiting period to be. Do you want it to be 20 days, three days, whatever you define. And then after that time period, they will receive this email right here saying, how are you liking your product? looks like you've had it for a while, you know, you can obviously edit this email and this is going to ask them to leave a review. So that is pretty much it. I mean, all this stuff up here is mostly like um, customer support, you know, helping with um, issues and things like that. But if, if they don't really reach out to support, then that is gonna be the entire flow. Again, it order verifies, pulls that information using the order ID automatically. You don't have to have, a labor, you know, pays somebody to actually be doing this stuff manually, and then it also automatically pays them the rebate amount using those multiple different gift card options. So really, really cool stuff. I highly recommend that you check this out. If you wanna sign up for seller.tools, they got a 14 day free trial. I highly recommend you take advantage of that. And then you will wanna be on the $97 per month plan in order to fully leverage this free rebate automation flow. Again, this template is completely free. They got a whole bunch of free mini chat templates that they give you just as part of being a, a Seller Tools member. So I do highly recommend you check out Seller Tools, seller.tools. Again, if you wanna book a free consulting call with me, head over to www.evolvemedia.agency and we can talk about how we can scale your Amazon business using Seller Tools rebate automations like this, as well as Facebook ads and all the different platforms out there. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.